Let's take a look at the MXL 990 analog condenser microphone. What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas and in this one I'm going to take a quick look at the MXL 990 condenser microphone. This is an entry level condenser mic that was recommended to me by a friend of mine that is pretty well versed in the audio realm. And before we get any further into this video, I want to say I am no audio expert by any means, but I know and understand the basics of good audio. But beyond that, I'm not going to go into any crazy granulated specifications regarding this mic. I'm just going to unbox it, take a quick look around, do some demos, and that's it. So let's get started. Let's take a quick look at what you're provided in the packaging. First off, I have to say the packaging for this condenser microphone is outstanding. You provided a really nice carrying case, which is accompanied by the standard documentation, accessory options, warranty, manual, and warning information. Upon opening the hard case, you're greeted by a nice foam interior housing uh, for your shock mount, the mic itself, and a standard mic stand mount. This mic runs about 90 USD at the time of this video. You can definitely play the waiting game and set yourself up to take advantage of a sale of some sort from many different distributors. I got this mic 50% off when I purchased it around a year ago, and for that I'm floored with the quality of this mic and what you're given for that price. Even paying full price, you're, you get a ton in my opinion. Taking a closer look at the shock mount reveals its surprisingly sturdy construction. The condenser mic itself, it's it has substantial weight to it which to me really communicates quality. I know it may not be prime for mobility, but this mic isn't really set up for that. It's meant to be a stationary mic set up in some studio um, or the way I'm using it now. MXL has done a great job constructing this piece of gear. I'm seriously impressed with it and I have been 100% satisfied with this mic since I've purchased it. There are some caveats with this mic, however. It's an analog XLR microphone, which means it will need an audio interface to be powered and work properly. It's definitely a studio mic, as you will not be traveling around with this, like I said before. It's a mono-only microphone and only records one channel of audio. But with that, MXL offers a stereo version of the MXL 990. I will leave a link to both of these microphones in the description of this video. With all that said, let's just take a listen to some of the sample audio. To no surprise, all audio in this overview has been recorded using the MXL 990. All right, so let's address the elephant in the room right off the bat. Um, if you can hear that, I left my ceiling fan on uh, on purpose throughout this whole video because uh, this microphone, it picks up almost anything background noise related. That's the main reason I have to record my audio separately uh, because my MacBook Pro ramps up. All of you are familiar with the MacBook Pro fan noise, so um, it's no surprise that that will definitely affect your audio session if you don't have this in a separate room or separate from your your recording setup that may be a deal breaker for some of you because um, it's substantial if you listen just listen carefully for a minute I um, mean you'll hear my uh, ceiling fan that's substantial to me I can hear it and I'm, I'm monitoring my audio is as we're recording now. Other than that, this microphone is great. Uh, the, if you're square on the diaphragm, uh, you're gonna you're gonna capture some really great audio. But as soon as you start stepping away from the from the side of it, um, it's affected because the diaphragm is is square with the MXL logo. Um, the same thing with this side. The way I'm monitoring it, it's still capturing audio pretty good. So it has a anything forward is gonna capture really great audio, but if you want the, the prime stuff, you're going to want to be right up on it, squared. Another thing, I'll turn it around and see what the effect is. And that's, it's still capturing it, but it sounds eh, terrible. It is picking up noise from the rear of it. It's just something you're going to have to deal with if you're looking to get this microphone. All in all, I would say, I would give this a thumbs up for any uh, beginning YouTuber that wants to get into actual analog audio recording um let me know what you think so i'm gonna go ahead and record my outro yeah let's do it well that about does it for me in this one if you like this video please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you didn't like this video leave a thumbs down and subscribe anyways because i will make something you'll like eventually i value your feedback so feel free to comment and ask questions as well i'm learning new things daily 
and your feedback is important to my growth. After you're done liking, disliking, commenting, or sharing, make your way on over to my channel and check out some of my other videos. If you'd like to get in touch with me outside of YouTube, you can find me on Google Plus and Twitter. Just reach out to me there. And to close this out, I'd like to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I value your time because you've taken the time to view my video, and that's to me, that means a lot. I'd like to say thanks again. Um, and take care.